Right, hello there beauties and gentle beauties. Yet again, another very, very, very late upload. Hmm, I don't even know what time is it. Is it too late? Yeah, it's only like 10 something. Alright, we gotta get on a topic, which I'm surprised I never really brought up in, like, in full. Oof. Let me get through this right now. Do do do, let's try this one, because this one's probably worse. How worse could it be? I do not know. Oh, damn, that's... How'd that happen? Anyway, ranked. Fortnite ranked. Ranked Battle Royale. Oof. Oh, gosh. I don't want to cause too much of a stir. And I do not want to cause too much of backlash. This mode is the worst mode in Fortnite. I don't know what you're saying. How can that be true? It helps a lot of players address their skills and climb the ranks, obviously. <laughs> but no offense for that. I do appreciate this mode. I have nothing against playing it. It's just the requirement. Because one, everyone's different. No offense, unless you are in a binding contract with someone, and yet again, this, I can say, it's not my op opinion. Everyone comes to me with this problem. Finding another player. Because here's the thing. Even if you're playing squads, each member of your squad is completely different. Because I'm the type to run in and probably die, but at least damage, like, probably get a kill break the shield on one kid and like somewhat damage another kid while some other dude is like hiding waiting for us to like die so we can collect reboot cards not even fathoming the chance of us winning one i'm not really trying to hate on those people but one if you're going to play a game where conflict and confrontation is pretty much the key element why even play if you're just assuming you're going to lose but then you have the other types, the uh, I'm going to use like what seems like the strongest gun or the comfortability guys where I'm I'm great with using Ranger pistols and SMGs, but we all know how that ends. So yeah, cause like I said, and I forgot, was it last, it was probably like the end of last season. I want to ex like, like really stretch out my technique because no offense i've been playing fortnite almost I, exactly the same for the past three years learn the meta find the weapons basically go nuts you know i do not have a technique a lot of people say oh you're really good you're you're beyond average on fortnite but no offense that is not skill because no offense, whenever I'm playing Fortnite and whenever I have to fight someone, I do not think, uh, use this build technique. No, I use the get higher than them and shoot when you need to shoot. Shoot when you're not being shot at and shoot if you're being shot at and shoot when you can shoot. That is pretty much my, my, my script. That's my script right there. That is practically my, my script. I'm not even joking. Like... I'm pretty sure everyone has seen, I have no problem shooting through builds with a shotgun, with a sniper, with a mythic, with a SMG, with anything. All, all I really do is just like, shoot. Now, of course, with some game, not some game, my bad, with some guns, it's going to be considered spraying. That's why I do personally try to stay away from the SMGs because you yeah, know right, I can be spraying with the SMGs. I could spray with SMGs even though I don't, do not like to. Everyone knows I am a shotgun and rifle type person. I prefer the pump and OG scar, but those are out of the game. I can pretty much use anything that is a replica for it during any season. But as you guys can see, this, this right here, this right here probably seems impossible. A kid, a kid wanted to 1v1 me, not the one from earlier, there's another one, and he wanted to know generally what my rank was. He showed me his trying to, like, you know, flan off. It took him 17, it took him like 17, 17 games to get to like silver, silver three. And I'm like, why? 
like every person I have, and I'm I'll be honest, better than me, kids that I generally have to like go go try hard against, better than me have to play more games. Because no offense, yeah, they might be better than me, but the I don't want to say filtered requirements, but pretty much the filtered requirements to what it takes. Because I'm not gonna lie, I only played four matches. Like my my, I I have not. I don't think I've played any. Oh my god, I have. I've got like four, four, five, six, seven. I'm, in total, I've only played seven matches of rank. And I'm like, all right. Because when I ask people, like, how long does it take you to, like, get, let's say, beyond gold? Because everyone's like, yeah, bronze, silver, gold, that's nothing. And they're like, yeah, maybe, like, oh, 17 to 25. I'm like, seven, 17 to 25? No offense, if I put in 17 to 25 matches of dedication, I'm sorry to say it. But let me see something. With a base average of three, I could be at least diamond two. I'm saying on let's say let's say every last match my teammates is doo-doo. Because no offense, with my average three, and no offense, I'm not I'm not a builder like others. With my basic combat knowledge giving me an average elimination of three, any type of placement within let's say top fifty to top twenty-five, that is that is an improvement of at least thirty percent. So thirty so that's practically every three matches. Every three matches, I'm going up a rank. But either way, besides that, we get into this. We we get into this. So I know everyone knows what these are. They're tournaments. They're cups. They're, they're these little these little things you slave away in ranked just to practically do nothing. This one starts in twenty something minutes for real. Eleven? Really epic? I I don't think I've ever noticed that. I've never really seen that started at 11, but anyway, but they, they all start, they all do their thing, and then, no offense, when, when you get blessed to find someone you actually, you actually vibe with, you actually mix well with, when you finally find that blessing, you play a match, and then you realize you do not compete to anyone, anyone, like, no offense, I used to do these, but now I'm not going to lie, none of my friends even, I, man, I don't even, uh, thousands, thousands of these tournaments go by, I do not get a single invite. They don't even try. Now, yet again, congrats, congrats to everyone that we can currently see on this list. But no offense, you guys have to stay there. And most likely most of these players do stay here. They stay on these tournaments and ranked. They do not play uh, i know i say cash cups and f and cs but like i only do that because people want me to but like they do not play most of fortnite honestly like they do not play save the world they don't really play battle battle royale they definitely don't play reload i mean i don't even play reload i'm an xp grinder and i i come to terms to not doing the daily reload quest because i'm like Ugh, okay they might they're probably playing Creative. I gotta play Day of Doom. Hold on. Not right now, but I. Uh, how long do I have? I have five days, and I have ten hours to do the last two. Qu Look at this. Like, I. I generally will. I'm considering doing ranked or champions road thing more than like the daily reload thing. But it, anyway, <clears throat> back to my. Back to what I was saying. Why ranked is just not it. One. Skill-based matchmaking, yet again, that is not, for some reason, in regular matches is bad, in ranked, it is so much worse, it is so much worse, because, for me, I'm going to show you what I have to deal with, me, the all-arounder, I'm going to keep it real, I know I'm going to sound like I'm flexing, and I am flexing, I do, I do not have a drop spot. I do not have a drop spot. I do not care what nobody says. No drop spot. Grand Glacier, let's go. Restored Reels, let's go. Rebel Roots, let's go. This this island with uh Centron is, let's go. I do not care where it is. I'm landing, finding loot, and I am assaulting other players. Simple 
as that. Then there's a kid leaving the match the second he cannot get all three of us to land Nitro Nitro Drone or whatever this this thing is that apparently some kids like to go for some whatever reason. And I'm like, okay, all right, all right, all right. That that is that. That maybe that maybe maybe if the if it's lucky if it works for them, sure. Then no offense, you have that you have. The I uh 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 the eight year old anyway like the literal eight year old the I have to run with a pickaxe out as if it wouldn't just be faster to keep the gun that you're using and be prepared for a fight because what else are you gonna do in Fortnite? No offense, I call them pickaxe runners. Why do you guys do that? Like what? You're and it's like it's not like they will be ready for a fight they will even fight with you but like if you dare to get down they will not reload a single gun hold their pickaxe out look at other guns knowing that we only knocked one opponent one only one opponent knowing a team is nearby and they they're not even prepared for the fact that there's other people around them and I'm like, okay, fine, maybe, maybe, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to bl blame that on age, but, uh, all right. And let's, let's keep it real, let's address the elephant that has been born, raised, and educated in the room. The builder. Do not, I, I do not believe I have to say this. You're going to build so high. Where, no offense, like, even by accident, like, I've accidentally did it, and I've accidentally trapped my teammate when the, we're not in zone, and he's, like, chopping down just to get through, and by accident, he knocks me. Dude, why don't build outrageously high? This is not a 1v1, this is not 2v2s in creative. There's no need to show off. You guys see how I build. I can get high ground, and if I need to continue to do that, I will continue to do it. But when I know it is too high, as when the, oh, the NPC little message thing disappears, because I'm not going to lie, most of my build battles, even though I know nobody's like, you never have build battles. If I ever have build, build battles, it's always, it's always from rotation near restored reels. This is my worst spot. Because from any direction, if I have to cross this place, I know somebody's either hiding or talking to Peely. And next thing you know, they're building like crazy. But the minute I see Peely's little talking bubble, like, like disappear, I jump down. I, honestly, and that, no offense, that is, that actually is a, like a, a cool little cheat. Like if you stay next to Peely and like you get into a build fight, just get high enough. You don't even have to be hiding in the opponent, just get high enough. When his thing disappears... And you chop them down. If it isn't an instant knock, like of course if they have jetpacks or the things, but if they if they take full damage, it is an easy fifty, like fifty five damage, easy. But besides that, that I know that's an underhanded strat and such. But either way, either way, why I don't play ranked anymore is because yeah, meta changed too much. The crying of weapons. Yet again, I use weapons either way, and. The, the the I would say the community. The community is uneven. People that are doing ranked has been trained their whole lives, honestly. And let's keep it real. There's thousands. There's thousands, and we only have a good handful. Even though it's a lot. Even though it is a lot, we only have a good handful. Let's say Booga, Clicks, Ninja, Server PK, Nick 30 No offense. All these ki we can like literally drown them out from the ones that played on a daily and the famous ones. Because not gonna lie, you like I, I I don't know any of these people. I don't know any of these people. Like these these people are probably the what some of the best people we could find like on a day to day basis, maybe in average matches. And they could have this list on deck, but like if they say their username and what tournament they won, I would not know. And I don't think I would care that much. Like, I, 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 I'm I, sorry. Now, I know there's people that's going to completely, like, disagree. But 
I I'm sorry, this mode is not good. It is not. They they they, they did not work on it correctly. So to finish up, mostly on the community side. This is not really ranked problem. This is more of like everyone. Don't stop trying to get better, okay? Because I know a lot of people, it sounds bad. I, I don't know. This will not apply to everyone. But like, for me, for me, for me, at first, we all, we all joined, we all joined Fortnite to be better than a friend. We all had that friend who would bully us in a map and like, all right, I'll get better to beat him. And once that like little rivalry went off, it's like, all right, no more. I guess this, this is the life now. <laughs> I guess this is our peak now, you know? <laughs> but like, no, always try and get better. And always, no offense, always accept the unfair. Because nothing in Fortnite is honestly fair. There's always going to be some sort of weird glitch or weird coincidence or weird twist of fate that allows someone else to win but once you adapt to that which you actually can you just get over it you know you as i say you get good you actually get good because no offense i did no i don't know why anyone else can't you know predict and take action no offense people reach a certain level they get certain techniques and then they think that's it and now for the like the, the number one, the number one theme that we have to address, the levers. Like, I know a lot of people's like, what? Who who would leave a ranked match? They're there. They they're there. Jesus Christ. They are there. They are there. And it I I do not know if I care about it or not, but it's like I know what I'm about to say will probably enrage the whole community. Put leaving penalties. Cause no offense, you want to know? You want to know the funny thing? You want to know the funny thing? Rocket racing hazard. I'm not joking. If I if I go into a rocket racing, please. If I go into a ranked match at my ten percent, and I leave early, my joint, my percent. Oh my God, my New York is coming out. I'm sorry. Oh no. My New York is showing that. Anyway, my my percent will go from ten to like three. It's not much, but it's very, it's very, it's very, it's very, very bad. It's very bad because you want to know why? If you get first place, you only get like four percent. First, I'm I'm not even joking. Before any race start, I have to repeat to myself. Fourth is bad. Third is bad. <laughs> if if I if I go be below two numbers, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but no, the thing is, I like I don't understand how Rocket Racing kind of does it right. It kind of does it right. They're like, all right, some courses will enable some jumps and some short cups. To, you know, you know, we'll, we'll we'll allow that, but not too much where kids can abuse how the map is laid out. And no offense, don't have to play the game. And if they leave for whatever reason, they'll have to be somewhat punished and judged off of that. How in the world does a racing game does better than the core game itself? Because maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't check my rank if I ever leave. I don't think I do. But the levers, the minute the first person goes down and they know, it sounds bad. But no offense, if you're playing ranked, you have to prepare to be a captain. That's all I have to say this. Because no offense, never in my life am I coming to terms that he's just going to have to kill me with my with my loot sitting in a circle as I'm just standing there. No, I'm going to make my last moments absolute hell for my opponent, okay? And like, and it doesn't bug me. It doesn't bug me personally, but the concept that it is allowed by the community. Because like, no offense, it's, it's, it's a little bit worse than the just run away, you're gonna die kid. It's a little bit worse. I generally feel bad for the player that says, oh, I'm gonna leave, there's no chance. I'm like, it doesn't bug me. I, I mean, the whole, the, whole, the whole chat rage quits get uninstalls the game i'll just load up another match but i'm like jesus christ that is pathetic 
to even accept that. Yet again, I don't want to be a, a, a parent. This goes way beyond Fortnite. No offense. That is a lifestyle choice. And no, I'm not going to say that levers are like very common. Most levers in Fortnite, they don't. They don't show up much, but like if you do meet one, you, you you don't die. Don't don't die because you'll be the reason the whole the whole game crashes. <laughs> or something, whatever it is, whatever excuse. Oh, they have this gun. I gotta go. I'm like, what? See, like if a person dies, and you're, like you're the last one. I can I can I can accept that. I can I can accept that to a de- to a degree. He has an SMG. Let's start another match. I'm like. I would I want to hurt I want to hurt I'm not gonna lie and I that that right there no Mm-mm. no 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 you're not pulling up to the party Mm-mm. okay <laughs> you're not you're out of all out of all 500 500 friend requests you're not being accepted anyway <laughs> no, but yeah so will I play? Will I play ranked? When ranked, I actually start feeling like Fortnite. I'll play it. I will. I will play it more than more than five times. Actually, I will play it more than five times. Oh, dang it! You guys did not see that. Oh my gosh! I'm uploading so late, and yeah, I gotta change. I gotta. Oh god. Anyway. Listen, <laughs> listen, this game is killing me financially and spiritually. Anywho, where was I? Look, Epic, all I'm saying is work on this game because ranked reload is disgusting. Ranked reload is so bad. I don't know if it's just me. Like, even in the first, the first match I played, unranked, of course, every unranked is like, you know probably like the the best kids in the game i don't know if i just like got lucky but uh no unranked was not unranked reload while playing unranked was terrible then i played ranked it got worse then i got my rank up to like bronze it was it was just, it was just, it was just disgusting. You got like two, two, two basic teams that actually like, you know, just getting started. Those with no competence at all, and one team with all black superhero skins. I, I felt like I was in a literal circus. I kid you not. It felt like a circus. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, we're playing parts here. You have the teams that just like dying, gliding in to fight again to get blitzed by the superheroes and like, all right, no, no. Ranked is just not it. And I'm not even gonna log like if, I don't even know why I play Rocket Racing ranked. I could play it normally. You know, I don't even think I, tr- I don't really even try to play Rocket Racing. I just like ready up, you know, just boop right there. I do not have time to go and, <laughs> I don't have time to play, uh, time to click two buttons i'm lazy anyway i'm really really lazy <laughs> yikes uh what the oh dang right my bluetooth headphones is connected but uh not ranked it's just not it so a lot of people's wondering when i'm getting into ranked because yet again, money is money is nice. Money is nice and all. But no offense, I'm not listen to me. I'm not raising my cholesterol for it. <laughs> you know, because like no offense, who else plays ranked and generally feels exhausted? Physically. You know, you start shaking. Your, your blood numbs up and you like the wind feels like it's coursing through your skin. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I do not have time to be washing my hand prints out my control of how hard I have to grip the thing. And I'm like, all right. Everyone's like, eh, that's just the battle, you know? I'm like, what? <laughs> so I ask all my friends why why go through that. It's just the battle. It's just, 
it's just a game, you know. It's just this, it's just that. That's that's how the fight works. It's, it's the battle, a part of the war. I'm like, okay, right, now, no, I did not sign up for that. <laughs> now, for whoever does, and for the ones that are doing it, congratulations, okay, congratulations. But no offense, that will not be me. Yet, <laughs> I will keep. I'll be honest. Now you see these. You see these. You see these. I will I'd definitely be getting these. You know why? Because I like free stuff. Now I won't be grinding through it, but I like free stuff. Yes, I do. I like free stuff, and I like XP. And like, yo, I'll be honest. <laughs> if I get to level one thousand, if I get to level one thousand tonight, I will not be doing these challenges. Neither, neither will I be doing these. I'm watching you reload. Like, I've just been slacking off, so I feel dedicated to. It. I'm like, oh no. Could really just grind through these and get these done. I'm like, no, nope, 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 nope. I might play a reload for this one because a lot of storm circles go by fast. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, that's that. Yet again, I want to show you guys my career because if you're feeling hopeless about like how your thing, I know a lot of people, not as much as last time, but a lot of people's like, oh my god, I've been grinding like so slowly. Whatever you're doing. I would not say it is one. I would not say it's placement. Do not hide and not get no eliminations and like all that stuff. Like do your best to like fight because everyone knows I'm a fighter. And it's in four games, four matches. I did not win one. I'm in platinum three and I, 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 I do not know Pacifics. I did not even get to like to 25. Three. I'm going to screenshot this cause I need to, I, I will look into it, but like, yeah. For zero build, I've only gotten okay. I've won two, I won two out of three, so two matches and five of limbs. Like, you know, just do your best. You know, every person can dream. I remember not even, even trying to fight, I never did. I, I would generally just back in the day, I would generally just like look for heels. Hide in bushes like everyone else and then require a heal off. But that obviously never worked for the loser that understood what a gun was and shot me in the storm. I'm like, all right, whatever. But no offense. After a while, my brain clicked and said, why don't I shoot him before he thinks about shooting me? And then everyone got the lovely Metaton Glam they have now. The one that is going to shoot you with a shotgun from 48 meters away. <laughs> I I know, I know, I know everyone, I know everyone looks at me crazy when I do that. Over at Twitch, don't think it's just you guys, YouTube. Over at Twitch, whenever I like the rarity that I'm live on Twitch, everyone loses their minds. Why are you using a shotgun for rain? Oh my God, I think I think I want that to be like a reference for me. Shotgun 48, yeah. Because I think I think like that's the farthest I've gotten a kill. And like it's 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 so iconic. Because it's always like 40 meters away if I'm like like spazzing and they're just low enough where I can hit like eight damage and get the kill. <laughs> but yeah, I know a lot of people's like, you don't use guns correctly. I'm like, bullet go pow. Bullet go pow, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much all of it for today. I know I don't do much on Fortnite, no much. Not as much as I used to. I don't do as much as I used to because uh, it's just been so strange. I don't do like m these game tutorials. Oh my God, yo, heavens no. I have not been in Party Royale in so long. I remember I would join Party Royales and make videos where I'm generally just being a, a, a sinister. Oh my God, I was just being a fiend. I was just, oh goodness. Just tweaking out, genuinely. I remember I used to have Team Rumble grinds. I have not played, I can keep it real, I've not played Team Rumble like five times. Now that like I have other schedules and I kind of miss it. I kind of miss playing like 17 Team Rumbles doing nothing but searching chess. But, you know, I did play a little bit of Havoc Hotel. I'm glad that, like, they're putting actual good uh, creative maps back on there. But, like, you know, 
but yeah i need to i need to get new stuff and good heavens is that the symphony okay let me not <laughs> i see i see a i see a picture of a dolphin i know that has to be the i just want to be a part of your symphony me but like let me not assume but uh yeah i gotta i gotta do more i gotta do more i'm not gonna lie i'm, I'm losing it I'm losing it. I'm losing it. How much time do I have? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, that'll be another video. Because I know a lot of people. So today, one of my friends announced, not announced, but like told me that this thing changed. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start. I'll start a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Give y'all mode that y'all probably care for because it gives XP. Yeah, it gives. XP. The heck, Kuno? Oh, okay. It's light reflection. I thought she had, I thought she had like different color eyes for a second. But uh, no, this map changes a lot, and it is a pain. It is a pain. But once you get used to its um, the way it does things, and like where it puts the buttons, you can you can probably find it really fast. Which is strange. Probably could find it really, really, really fast try and speed run this because i do not oh dang it it's like 11. oh my god oh yeah hello to all the ogs and i mean from like i when i say ogs i really am appreciating the true ogs like from 2017 who remember me for when i did not talk i know i always like bring this up sooner or later but i still want to give thanks to those who remember me that like when i did not talk dead silence hour after hour day after day <laughs> i did not forget about y'all so everyone knows this map well not everyone but it's pretty iconic playstation xbox it is over it is over here right now but if it's not over here just check like this entire square it will always be in this general area and the, like when it changes i will announce that now for the room you have to uh course go here there's another one on the playstation it's like where the charger is but for the xbox is on this button and you should be teleported here as you see i still get xp for creative because i did not have time to do my creative xp yet but something i want to do i want to show you so like in case you guys just sit there i do not the way i do it because everyone's like creative just updated a minute ago and you already halfway through it. A lot of people are like, how in the world do you do that? So in case you do not know, you can actually just... Okay, why did that not work? You can just spam the portal. Yet again, I think it's travel distance. So crouch under it. And just do that. And it doesn't give a lot of... It doesn't give a lot. But if you do that for like five minutes, half of the timer's time, <laughs> it will actually... It speeds up the process. It speeds up the process a lot. Yeah, it speeds up the process a lot. So, just do that and, you know, do the timer. Normally, I do this timer and then immediately turn around and do the other timer and then collect all the buttons at last, giving like a final boost, and that's it. With this one, I've only had to do it twice, like once in the morning, once at night. I'll probably do, do this twice tonight, but uh, anyway. That is it for this video, like always. Yet again, I do not have a preference of Fortnite player if you're competitive, if you're casual. It is what it is. It sounds bad. Some people call me a competitive casual. I do generally like having an advanced skill casually. Like, I do not like having a skill just, you know, for skill things. I will use it, you know, ev everyone knows, everyone knows that my technique. Boom, one, two, three, boom, three. I, I'm a bot, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm a real bot. Cause like, let me see. Yes, I have controller ASMR now because I actually am changing some stuff. So one thing I've been, I've announced, I've moved the cones instead of stairs, which is really fun a little bit. Because everyone knows I would just do this classic, you know, circle thing. Up, floor, circle, stairs, floor, circle, stairs. It, it, it's, a, it's a classic. But one, when you have cones, 
you kind of get more a, like opportunity for different angles in a way. I mean, I don't know if it's the same for stairs. It's not too much. Yeah, it's not too much of the same for stairs. But I've been using cones just to switch it up. Just to switch it up a bit. And yeah, I know a lot of people's like, it, lo it definitely looks more intense and more, I don't know, cool. And it doesn't, it doesn't take as much, as much materials because everyone knows the way, the way I used to do it, which I don't even know how I used to do it, it, it was like all over the place. And everyone knows my classic maze technique. Wait, hold up. The wide build. That again is literally just left to right. And don't even like try to get it right all the time because I normally do that for covering and re-maneuvering. Like, never be afraid to just go back. A lot of people always, like, normally expect me to keep going, but I will casually go back. Because they'll probably jump on top, try to get a headshot, and, you know, you just go back and then shoot. So, do not do not think that high ground is everything. And when it comes to aggression, that's one thing. I, I do not have aggression with um, SMGs. So, it sounds bad for me. If you just want to be as aggressive as I am, Learn the technique of a shotgun and rifle, because from what I've heard, uh, that is the uh, most aggressive thing you could ever face. At least against with me, you know. I my my technique is uh, a bit a bit uh, a bit uh yeah. I don't know what my technique is. It could be from hacking to who knows what else. But uh yeah. Anyway, stay fabulous, darling. And I'll see y'all next time. And yeah, like if next season comes around, I'll probably stream on Twitch. Anyway, bye-bye.